My name is Scott Tingle. I'm a captain in the United States Navy, and I'm currently working as an astronaut. I also worked in the United States Naval Reserve as an enlisted ordnanceman. After college, I worked as an engineer at the Aerospace Corporation, uh, working on rockets, and then uh, decided to go on active duty in the Navy and, and fly jets, which I did, and uh, worked, as, uh, worked my way all the way up through several operational deployments, and then as a test pilot. No matter what my job was, I had to do it to the best of my ability, as efficiently as I could, so that everybody around me could reach their objectives. When you're working in a team, it's not about you and your idea, it's about all the ideas and all of the direction. That's what makes the, the final result really shine. And to be able to do that, you have to be able to talk to each other very plainly, very straightforward, and understand each other. That takes a little bit of effort because you get two folks coming from different backgrounds and you gotta slow down a little bit and you gotta make sure you understand each other. The Apollo program that actually got me interested in the space program, I was four years old uh, watching TV with my mom as uh, Neil Armstrong actually walked on the moon. And as I got older, we started, uh, you know, I read up a little bit on Apollo 13 and the failure that they had. When you want to talk about a team of professionals making things happen, that story in itself is, uh, is just so, so amazing. Uh, as you get older, you start seeing that, hey, we're doing these incredible things. We're flying in space. We're flying airplanes off carriers. We're landing shuttles. When you look at the details, there's literally Literally thousands of people that are working together on one team to make these happen and when you go out and you talk to those folks it's absolutely incredible there's never a perfect flight or a perfect mission uh, you just you have to be there to, to let the team hold you up and uh, and we do that very well you just got to let your your friends help you um, and if they see you they're gonna be right there to help you anyways and if they're not you have to ask for help and it's uh, nothing uh, um, shameful about that. It's part of being human. You know, we have human spaceflight. We have humans in aviation. You cannot have any of that without human error. Use that failure as a learning point. Figure out what you did wrong. Do it differently to get a good result and then move on. That process is what's going to make you successful, not the fact that you got it right. It's the process that you're learning because that's what's going to get you through all of your life challenges and your life obstacles that you're going to meet.